Systems team member with a mixed martial arts record of 38, 5, and 4. Look at this. Oh, Big wow. brother. To be the finish, he the belt. First one, I always believe that a champion is born when he defends his belt. Guys, if you win a belt, that could be luck, but if you defend it, it's yours. Jeremy's motioned over more than once already to his corner, and in his corner, one of the best trainers in the world, Pat Militich. Hey, beautiful job. Matt Hughes, very dominant. That's a different level of ground and pound than most people are looking for. Everyone knows about wrestling in Iowa. It's like basketball in Indiana and boxing in Las Vegas. That's for you, Jens. I know you're watching at home. He is a Militich Fighting Systems team member. That's a very, very dangerous young man. The combination of Cruz Lethal. And it's all right. That was a square. Yeah. And the champion. Oh. It did not take long at all. Left hook. Jens Pulver, the big left hand. It's all over. Matt Hughes has defeated Carlos Newton again. Trying to close it off. Trying to close it off. And really he does. Nice Jeremy Horn wins by. Submission. This is the ultimate fighting championship. I love you guys. Love you too. Awesome. I got to just warm awesome. up. Well, the main thing that my guys understand is that I would never make them do something miserably tough, endurance-wise or anything like that, that I haven't done myself. And they know that. I've done it all. And uh, so I think it's a lot easier for someone who's gone through it, who's stepped in the cage and fought, won and lost. Um, to be able to tell them, hey, this is what we're doing today, and they'll listen. I think the thing that makes this team so strong really is is the word team. Uh, they live together, you know, eat together, laugh together, cry together, you know, travel together. They stick by each other um, when they're up and when they're down. They push each other awfully hard, and uh, I think that's really the main thing is that they stick together through thick and thin. And, and uh, you. you it's easy to lose for yourself, I think, but you don't want to let your buddies down, just like uh, the guys that are over there in Iraq fighting the war. You know, they joined for their country, but they're fighting for their buddies right now, and that's kind of the way uh, I think that translates well into, into fighting in the ring, because you don't want to walk out of the ring and look into your training partner's eyes and have them be, you know, disappointed in the performance, I think. That makes a big difference. I decided to come to Iowa about two years ago. I, uh, I knew I had to step up my training a lot. I wanted to increase my... Uh, my game and uh, get better at what I was doing. Uh, so I decided to go out here and train with Pat Miltich. I met him uh, at a UFC and he told me to come on out and train for a while and I came out and liked it a lot and we got along real well and he asked me to move here with him and join the team. So I packed up everything I owned, left everybody I knew and moved to Iowa. We just have a great team with a lot of variety of fighters. We have guys like Horn who are good jiu-jitsu, good all around. We have strong wrestlers with strong wrestling backgrounds and then Pat helps to bring it all together and we just work together and make each other stronger.